hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are audio thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using adobe photoshop without any further i do let's get started so all right this is my photoshop so the next thing to do now then go to file then select new then use 1080 by 1080 pieces and your resolution should be 300 then you click on great this is the resource i'm going to use then scale it out Then over here now, I'm going to import this background. Then drag it up and scale it out. All right, then go to your blog, Gaussian blog. Then use 8.0. Then select your bloody mode and change it to valet. So then it will change like this. So the next thing now, then I'm going to imp import this image of worship. Then position it around here. Then apply your layer mask. Select your gradient tool. Then you blend the top, the side over here. And the bottom all right now i'm going to duplicate this one or use ctrl plus j reduce the size and drag this one up reduce this one also okay And select this one, go to your bloody mode and change it to soft light. Reduce the size. Something like this. All right. Okay, then now go back to your resource and import this image. then drag it up scale it a little go to your filter select blur and gaussian blur then i'm going to make use of 12.5 then click ok apply your layer mask select your gradient tool and blend the bottom over here also this side All right. Okay. So now we are going to import our test. Then you copy the heading. Select your test to or press T using your keyboard. Close the character spacing by 0%. Okay. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Reduce the character space, I mean the space. And reduce the font size. Then position it at the center. Then go to your resource file and import the church logo. Reduce the size. Also position it at the center.
then copy your test select your test tool then duplicate this one ctrl plus j and drag it down highlight it ctrl plus v to paste then increase the character spacing now apply draft shadow follow the process by using the setting over here all right then go back to your test and make a copy of this select your rent angle tool then come over here draw your rent angle then apply red color select your test tool then close the character spacing by 0% ctrl plus v to paste then change the font to abolition then position it inside the rectangle okay so now we are going to copy this select your test tool ctrl plus v to paste change the font then i'm going to use the fonts agree And position it over here increase the size All right then make a copy of this and duplicate this one drag it down ctrl plus b to paste increase the size use your arrow key then to bring it down all right and the last one you copy this one and ctrl plus v to paste the next thing then change the fonts and over here i'm going to use the font shalista or calista something like that okay so now the next thing i'm going to group this one then increase the size somehow like this it's okay all right so over here now then i'm going to apply a blending option
then select the your drop shadow and follow the process by applying this setting then i'm going to select this gradient tool over here all right so then apply a bevel and emboss so follow the process So just be following i'm trying to get a specific color which i'm not getting for now it's okay then i think i'm going to make use of this one then adjust the setting so if there is any need then i'm going to Come back later then and apply adjustment on the color so let's proceed for now then i'm going to copy the layer style and apply it to this So on this one, I'm going to apply the same process over here, then you click OK to so just a drop shadow. So after that, I'm going to import this image over here. Right click and rasterize it. Then go to your property and remove the background. Then apply your gradients and blend the bottom over here. Then convert it to smart object. Increase the size. something like this so the next thing i'm going to copy this test ctrl plus v to paste then change the font Now position it over here, reduce the font size, change the color to red, and go back to your test and make a copy of this one. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then change the font color to white. Then make it bold. Apply left alignment. Then 
reduce the size then click ok so this is the outcome of it all right also reduce this one okay So okay, like this. So the next thing I'm going to select a rectangle and create a rectangle over here. Then move the fill color and apply like a stroke color. Then make the color white. Then also apply a corner shape. Then come over here to make a copy. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Reduce the size. Rotate it vertical and position it inside here. Then I'm going to reduce the size. Then apply vertical and uh, horizontal alignment to centralize it. Then I'll position it over here. So the next thing, then we are going to create another rectangle. Then we are going to apply color, then adjust the color somewhere like this, then it's okay. So now we are going to copy this text, select your test tool, then apply that setting over there. Then control plus V to paste. Now position your text in the rectangle and increase the size. Like this is okay. Then copy this one. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then we are going to change the fonts. Then make use of Montserrat. Then I make it medium. Reduce the font size. And position it over here then now we are going to copy the date and time then now import this icon for the date Then you bring it down over here and reduce the size. Control plus U for hue and saturation. Then apply white background color. Select your test tool. Control plus V to paste.
reduce the size. Okay. Then and change it to semi bold. Then come over here to make a copy of this one. Duplicate it. Select the test one and highlight it. The control plus V to paste. Then I'm going to apply superscript. All right. So you get something like this. Increase the size. And then duplicate it or use Ctrl plus J. Then copy this one. Select your test tool and highlight it. Ctrl plus A to highlight, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Open the character spacing. Then you close the space this way. Now you can increase the font size. So the next thing is our time. Then import the time icon. Reduce the size. Ctrl plus hue for hue and saturation. Then apply white background color. Okay, now then I'm going to reduce the size of this AM, something like this, okay, then bring it down and position it over here, while you increase the size a little. So the next thing now is the location. Reduce the size. Control plus U for hue and saturation. Then click OK to get white background color. Then copy your location, select your test tool, Ctrl plus V to paste, then change it from semi bold to regular, reduce the font size and position it over here, increase the size a little. Now close the space a little. Six percent is okay. Now increase this one while you select all. Then also select this one. 
So remember to hold your shift key while you select them. Okay. All right, I think it's okay like this. So the next one is to import this light, then position it on top of this location. Then apply your blow Gaussian blur. Then make use of 2.5 and change the bloody mode to screen. Okay, like this. So the other one is to bring this in fact. Then over here is okay. Then go to your blending mode and change it so now we are going to make use of overlay it's okay so now having done this one so the next thing we are going to do is to adjust the color of the test so we are going to our gradient now. So over here now, so I'm going to play around with this color to get a specific color I want and the positions, the scale. So now import this color code over here. Also import the color code over here. Then I'm going to apply setting. So as you can see the scale now, I change the scale from 100% to 150 percent then i'm going to apply bevel and embrush then the depth is 115 and the size i'm going to change it to three percent also the techniques to chisel hard and the altitude so i'm going to make change to it to 70 percent then the highlight mode I'm going to change it to normal then also the opacity I'm going to change it and then this one to 66 so for now I'm going to play around with this color to get what I want so color dodge and the opacity here I'm going to reduce it to 43 percent and the size I'm going to amend it to 6 Then also apply satin, then also change it. All right, so this should be one, three, eight. 
apply this contour and I'm going to turn this one off then go back to my gradient overlay then I'm going to adjust this one something like this okay then now turn on the satin and the inner glow so this is what i want then i'm going to drag this one back so that the shadow will not be too much or the color will not be all too deep okay so now i'm going to click okay All right, so what I did is to save that color in case of next time before I save it. Now I'm going to hold my Alt key and drag it to only to apply the same color. So that is to copy the color. So over here, you can see the outcome of the design. Then I'm going to reduce the size of this one. Also, this one I think is too much, so I'm going to reduce the size a little. So, as you can see, so this is the end of the tutorial so please if you like this video don't forget to share then and subscribe turn on the notification bell so that you will not miss any of my next video like share and the other thing if you want to order for any of my graphic design please go to the link in the description and order through my fiverr account and if you want to create a fiverr account there is a link there also to enable you create a fiverr account please don't forget to like share and subscribe then also join my youtube membership channel to get a benefit from the members thank you so much for watching